Hello, it's Deborah from Madison's and I am really looking forward to showing you around a beautiful property that I'm so proud to have on our books. It is this section of this lovely late Victorian house um, built at the back end of the 1800s and situated here on the fabulous Warwick Park. So Warwick Park's a really popular area. It's got beautiful architecture, obviously easy walking distance down to the Pantiles, the High Street, the Mainline Station, and great schooling in the area as well. Very close to the Neville Cricket Ground, the Grove, lots of beautiful green parks. You've got a large driveway here to the front with an electric charger, and a beautiful extensive rear garden in very, very good size, which has been professionally landscaped. It is beautifully presented inside, really free flowing, fabulous reception accommodation and a great kitchen and really good bedroom and bathroom space as well. So let's head inside and we will show you around. So the entrance hall of this home is really very, very special. You've got this lovely wide feeling stairs up to the upper floors, beautiful big bay window, which you'll see when we go through lovely stained glass. So those late Victorian roots coming through, beautiful panelled walls, um, useful under stairs, cupboard just here, and then a really practical ceramic floor. Let's head through and show you the main living accommodation. So this house does a big circle really, it's a beautiful little flow for family living. And we come now into this really lovely big open plan space. So you've got a sort of huge inner hallway here. This could be used for some casual seating, music room, etc. It's got useful storage inbuilt. Um, so you can have lots of space there to tuck things away and a lovely little wood burner there. So it could make this a really tasty room. And then at the moment, it's got this open um, double arch uh, sort of panelled area to the utility room and also boot room. So you could easily put doors on here to section this off, but the current owners have liked having it open. You can see you've got space for a washer, dryer, and then this is a handy WC just in there, tucked away, very beautifully presented. So lots of useful storage for a busy family. You could have shoes, sports bags, etc., all in this. And those lovely period features again, like the big bay window are beautiful. And then straight through another great open plan connection to this really magnificent room. So this is a, an orangery where they really embraced the beamwork, uh, created this beautiful vaulted dining area. You can see you've got um, inbuilt storage over the other side, perfect for uh, china, tablecloths, etc., and a big space here for a dining room table. It's flooded with light because you've got Velux windows above. And then it connects to this fabulous kitchen space. It's a Tom Howley kitchen with Corian worktops, which is really, really nice. Um, integrated appliances. You can see a Fisher & Paykel dishwasher, double oven, really, really well presented. Beautiful sink inset into there. Um, it's just so well thought through. It's got a hot water tap, a dishwasher, everything that you'd expect to have in a really, really high class kitchen. Flooded with light again, because it's got a big roof lantern. The garden will show you shortly. So big bifolding doors that lead off from the kitchen to connect that. And as you can see, plenty of space for island seating and then a busy family to enjoy themselves as well. And then next door, we've got the reception room. So the flooring changes here to give it a good divide. It's got more of a wood effect flooring. Um, beautiful fireplace, that original late Victorian fireplace, real arts and crafts feel to it, along with panelled walls again. And the tiles in set now are glorious. You've got nice recessed shelves and then more French doors out to the back garden again, which creates this wonderful connection with the outside and despite being in the heart of the town you are very very private and then we've got lots more useful storage here so perfect for tucking things of a big busy family away and you can see that lovely flow back to the kitchen and so we've connected then back here to the hallway so you can see we've come in a big loop so over to the right now is that first room that we went into but let's head upstairs now and we'll show you the bedrooms and bathrooms So lovely big light filled landing, more beautiful stained glass which you'll see as we head upstairs. We've got four bedrooms and four bathrooms, um, two of the bedrooms and two of the bathrooms on this floor, so over to the left. So the current owners use this as a kind of multifunctional room really, it's got a beautiful day bed there which can be pulled out for guests but you can see they've equally got it set up for a, a further sort of TV room, Peloton room, 
Lots of fabulous storage here again, all built in, so perfectly ready to be a bedroom. And then it's got a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is really handy. So a door into this here, it's a big space, lovely big cupboard, nice freestanding bath, big shower cubicle, underfloor heating, and all just beautifully presented again. This is a really generous bathroom space. And then over to the rear of the property, we've got the master bedroom. And this room, very, very generous in size, as you can see. Lovely big bay window there with a window seat. More storage underneath. You've got lots of extensive wardrobes. The bedroom tucked away there to the alcove. Beautiful outlook from the window. It's just lovely and green and tree-lined. Lots of useful storage. Another beautiful fireplace, as you can see, with its original tiled inset. And then a dedicated ensuite for this room tucked away here to the side. It's got a shower cubicle, double sinks, and that lovely outlook to the rear garden. We'll head upstairs now and show you the final two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Here we are on the very top floor, so a bit more sense of the eaves coming in. There's a loft which is boarded and has a ladder, so great for storage. And first the bedrooms here, again a good double. All the bedrooms are very strong doubles, there's no doubt about that. And this one again has its own dedicated ensuite. Lovely views over the surrounding town. Big generous shower cubicle. I love the way that this shelving has made use of the eaves. So you've got inbuilt storage here, which is lower level because of this roof line, and more wardrobe storage there. So it's really well thought through for children. And then to the rear, the final bedroom and bathroom. And this room again, a very lovely light filled space. Good double again, inbuilt storage there as you can see in that wardrobe, original fireplace, plenty of space for a double bed and then a very nice bathroom set over to the side, really well set out and the views again just fabulous, you're surrounded by such lovely mature trees around here but we'll head outside now and show you that garden. So here we are now out in the rear garden and it's a beautiful space, it's been professionally landscaped so you've got this really lovely porcelain stone area here at the top. Lots and lots of established mature planting. It's really secluded and private. And you can see there's space there for the large hot tub, space for dining. So we've got a couple of steps down because there's a slight incline here on this part of Warwick Park. And the garden's been landscaped to take advantage of that. A few more steps down to the lawn. And then it's a really good dead flat lawn actually, very nice, it feels very well drained. Obviously heavy clay in Tunbridge Wells, but providing you put the right drainage in, then it's fine and obviously this garden's been professionally landscaped. Beautiful seating area sitting under this tree here, so great to catch the late evening sun at this point. And you can see there are lots of space there for children to play, um, beautifully presented as always, and the shed there useful for storage. And just to look back gives you a sense of how that kitchen area connects with the garden and makes this a very, very usable, family-friendly garden.